All right, sergeants, if you could please start your recordings. All recording, good. Thank you. Sergeant Sadowski, if you could please start with your opening statement. Good morning, and welcome to today's remote New York City Council vote on the Committee on Health. At this time, would all panelists please turn on their video. To minimize disruption, please place electronic devices on vibrate or silent mode. We are ready to begin. Thank you, Sergeant Sadowski, and welcome everyone. I'm Mark Levine, Chair of the City Council's Committee on Health. I want to recognize that we're joined by fellow Health Committee members, Alika Amprey Samuel, Andy Cohen, and Council Member Keith Powers. Today, we will be taking up a package of bills related to heat, including proposed introduction 1945A in relation to annual reporting of heat vulnerability and heat related deaths, sponsored by Council Member Justin Brannan, and proposed introduction 1960A in relation to a comprehensive cooling and communication plan sponsored by council member Rafael Salamanca. It feels particularly appropriate to be voting on these bills today during yet another heat wave that the city has experienced in recent weeks. The COVID-19 pandemic has exacerbated many existing inequalities and health problems in New York and heat related illnesses and deaths are no exception. In fact, New Yorkers most impacted by heat related illnesses and deaths overlap with those impacted by COVID-19. According to the Department of Health and Mental Hygiene, excessive heat in New York City has caused an annual average of 450 emergency department visits and 150 hospital admissions due to heat-related illness, an annual average of 13 heat stroke deaths, which are the official heat caused deaths listed on death certificates. In addition to directly causing deaths, heat can produce an excess of natural caused deaths or heat exacerbated deaths. This occurs when chronic conditions are exacerbated by heat and result in death, but heat is not recognized as a contributing cause of death on the death certificate. DOHMH estimates an average of approximately 100 heat exacerbated deaths per year associated with heat waves in New York City. We thank DOHMH for studying this issue and recognize the resources and work they've dedicated to heat illnesses and death. But there's also great concern that we're still undercounting indirect heat deaths in New York City, which some advocates and experts estimate to be hundreds more than is reported each year. This package of legislation will require the city to more broadly and expansively track and report on heat related deaths and to create and publish an annual plan describing how they, were, how they will inform residents on the dangers of heat exposure, provide access to cooling, and indicate how vulnerable populations can stay cool during heat-related emergencies. With COVID-19 worsening all existing health and equity issues in the city, and with climate change creating ever-worsening health conditions, we must finally treat heat as the serious health risk that it is. Thank you to the advocates who worked so hard on this issue, and thank you to the sponsor of these bills, Thank you, of course, to Speaker Johnson for bringing attention to this issue in his State of the City speech earlier this year. I want to acknowledge that we have now been joined by fellow Health Committee member, Council Member Inez Barron, and uh, I believe that uh, Council Member Kalman Yeager is still on the line with us. And have I missed any other members? Okay. Um, at this time, I would like to ask our committee clerk to begin the roll call for the vote. Good morning. This is the Committee on Health, July 28th, 2020. Vote on the following items. Intro 1945A, intro 1960A, and resolution number 637A. There are five members of the committee present. We will begin with Chair Levine. I vote aye. Council Member Barron. I vote aye, thank you. Council Member Cohen. Aye. Council Member Amprey Samuel. I vote aye. 
Thank you. Council Member Powers. I vote aye. Chair Levine, uh, we have a vote of five in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and zero abstentions. The, item, the items are adopted. Thank you. And I believe we have Councilmember Eugene expected momentarily. So if it's okay, uh, I'll ask the sergeants if we can keep the vote hope open for a few minutes. And thanks to all my mem all our fellow members who, who joined us today. You are relieved of duty for the moment. Good job, Mark. <laughs> Thank you, Andy. Thank you, Mr. Chair. You're up next. I think so, yes. Uh, this is Chief Sergeant Terrence Raphael Perez. Be mindful that while we wait, uh, we're uh, still recording. Thank you so much. Thank you, Sergeant. I'm told that both council members, Eugene and Holden, are having some technical issues now logging in. And so while staff works with them, we'll just hold the vote open for a few more minutes. Thank you. Clerk, we have Council Member Holden. Welcome, Thank Council Member Holden. Thank you, Council Member Holden. Are you prepared to vote on today's items? Yes. 
Thank you. May we have your vote, please? Uh, I, I... Thank you. Uh, Chair Levine, the... Sorry about that. I had Zoom issues relogging. Thank you. No, no problem at all. Okay. Bye-bye. Thank you, Councilman Holden. Chair Levine, the revised vote is six in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and zero abstentions. Thank you. And are we expecting Councilmember Eugene momentarily? Great. So we'll hold it open for a few minutes. Yes, that is what I'm being told. I'm just giving one Thank second you. while I confirm.
Just a reminder for those uh, just joining us, we are still in session with the uh, Committee on Health vote. Chair, Councilmember Eugene should be calling in shortly. Okay, thank you, Joe. Just a reminder to everybody that the recording is still live. Thank you so much. Oh, very good. I'm in. Hello. I'm in. Yes. Hello. Okay. Welcome, Councilmember Eugene. Thank you so much, and Nathan. I'm sorry to, for all this uh, trouble, but finally I get in. Thank you so very much to all of you. Thank you. Not, not a problem. We're happy to have you. Are you ready to vote, Councilmember Eugene? Yes, I am. Okay. So we'll ask our committee clerk to please register your vote. <laughs> Thank you, Chair Eugene, uh, Chair Levine. Councilmember Eugene, how do you vote? Uh, before I vote, let me uh, take the opportunity to thank uh, all of the wonderful people who work hard to make this vote possible. And this is a wonderful and very important bill, very important legislation, uh, you know, uh, related to even what we are going through now, this unprecedented uh, crisis, health crisis, that put every, everything upside down in our society, education, school, finance, and I want to thank the Chair, Chair Levin for his patience and for his leadership. Also, thank you, Chair Levin. I want to thank 
the uh, speaker Johnson and uh, also Jason and uh, all of you who have worked hard to make this possible. And uh, we know that uh, what we are facing now is a crisis that uh, we never, we have never seen in our generation. But there were so many people lost their lives and so many pain and suffering. All a part of this also is because we were not ready. New York City was not ready. The country was not ready. The, 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 the world was not ready. It takes time to be ready. This legislation, what we in the city council were asking, we're asking the state and the federal government to do everything possible to make sure that we are ready for the next event, next tragedy. Because this one is not the first one, and it is not going to be the last one. We have to be ready. By creating a commission, a permanent commission, we will have people, experts in, in this area, to start the pathophysiology, the histology, the, the, the immunology, the behavior of those type of viruses. And we all know coronavirus, novel coronavirus 19, is part of the family of viruses, like SARS virus in 2002, MERS virus in 2002, in 2012. So that means coronavirus 19 is a mutated virus from the same family that came back stronger, more aggressive, and more powerful. It is time now, as we try trying to, to overcome this tragedy, we have to come together all branches of government. I'm so honored that the city council take the forefront, you know, take the step to let everybody know that we have to work together to be ready because the next one, we don't know when it's going to come back and we will be able to save life. We will be able to protect our structures, our school, our churches, our synagogues, every, you know, our mosque. So I'm so pleased and thank you very much to all of you. And I want also to thank Jeff for his uh, work also, he worked tremendously to make this happen. And with this, Mr. Chair, I vote aye. Thank you, Councilmember Eugene. And that makes it a unanimous vote. Uh, oh, I guess I'll let the Sergeant give us the uh, official count. Excuse That's me, correct. the committee clerk. That's correct, Chair Levine. The vote is seven in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and zero abstentions. Okay, with that, we will conclude this hearing of the Health Committee. Thanks to all who participated.